Welcome or come back on any help at Cisco. In this example, we need to find the limit when x approach to 3 of f of x first, and then we have to discuss the continuity of this function. I'm going to start with the limit. So first of all, you want to do limit when x approach 3 minus how we call. So that means I'm going to come here from the left side, getting closer to this 3. And I'm going to look what's happened with the function. The function, if you notice, is all the time negative 2. So the limit is negative 2 in this case. Similar, we're going to do limit on x approach to 3 plus, which means I'm coming from the right side of 3. And what's happened when I go closer and closer to 3? The function is positive 2. Looking to these two limits, because they are different, limit on x approach to 3 of f of x does not exist. Okay, the two limits are different. The limit does not exist. Now we can move to the second part, which we discuss about continuity. And we have three conditions here. First of all, f of x is defined at x equals c, in this case, 3. Uh, and yes, that's correct. f of 3 is defined. It's 2 is this point right here. But once we move to the second condition, the limit does not exist. When we go closer to c, in this case, that 3. So I don't even have to check the third condition. I know now the function is not continuous at x equals 3. Okay. And that's it. Of course, you can take a look at a picture and see the fact that the function is not continuous at x equals 3. There is a jump there, but this is the justification uh, you may want to have in your mind. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-Square for more help. Thank you.